have some you have your email address here. Yes. Tonight, I will invite everybody who isn't already on the listserv onto the listserv. Uh, we will then, when we have a, a final location, confirm this location for the Community. Outreach, outreach meeting, it will be posted. And then, as soon as possible, for the uh, confirmed for the General Assembly on the 10th, that will be posted. Uh, then you can go ahead and tell everybody, and then we can then. Does so anybody know the actual URL for the Facebook page? Yeah. yeah. Just that she wants that. No, I, 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 I'm already on it, but I haven't thought about it. Well, you, you have to be. Do you have a? Do you use Facebook? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, then go on Facebook and you search uh, in the little search space at the top. It's Occupy Elmira slash Corner. And you get two websites. Well, no, I, I think the, the big one. It, it's, it's a group page. You know, you can click on it and you see some familiar people talking to the right ones. I think there's only one page. It's Occupy Elmira slash Corner. Yeah. No, you have an Occupy Elmira group and then an Occupy Elmira group and then an Occupy Elmira group and then You want the group page? I do believe that was posted, but he would know better. This is on the net. It's on Facebook. Yeah, it's on Facebook. Is it available to be shared? My copy is secure. Well, you know what? What I'm trying to do right here is I'm trying to take a copy from Facebook and I'm putting it on the listserv. Okay. So you would be able to get it as an email, okay? a copy of it as an email, and then you could then print it out or get it. You know, it's not like, it's I like Facebook. Yeah, I can fool it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, yes. you, you could download it or, or just copy and paste the text to a Word document or however you want to do it. To other people, this is allowed to go out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's already going to be on Facebook. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to say, uh, especially about your comment, since we're fit wrapping up now, I wrote a, an email to everybody on the listserv just assuming that it was more than seven people. But it was a kind of end of year uh, message uh, um, talking about uh, how one person had, had observed that it wasn't just, when we're talking about Occupy movements around the world, the Arab Spring, and stuff like that, that it could not just be, as far as the success goes, it could not just be young people occupying public space, right. but they needed general strikes from labor to back them up. And he said when those two came together, the outcomes were electric in different parts of the world. And then I ended up with uh, Tom Engelhart, um, um, blog where he talks about just recently, you know, in New York City there's something going on all the time where he went down to the uh, transportation uh, union. Um, it wasn't a, it was, it was a uh, support um, demonstration. So he went down there and it, he said it was amazing that this group of uh, Transportation Union people wanted the imprimatur of the Occupy movement, so they occupied. They invited people from Occupy, and at the end of that demonstrations, where politicians spoke and everything like that, they spontaneously, the Occupy people, the Union people, marched to Zuccotti Park um, in solidarity. Well, actually, Buffalo had a uh, solidarity march with uh, unions as well as other you know uh, groups that have pledged support to Occupy Buffalo too. So it's. It's not just down in New York City, it's no, happening no, everywhere. I, so. I think people are recognizing that there is a natural convergence here of what people want and, and, and occupy and, and, but you have to understand there's a difference between leadership, okay, and actually, I mean, that's one of the reasons why this was so important to me, because I have to, what people don't understand about unions, you, you think we're these monolithic organizations and that we can go back and talk to 500 people and all going to toe the line. Mm -hmm. We are so diverse, right. okay, people from all sides of the political spectrum. I mean, we're just a microcosm of society, okay. The only thing that we have going for us is that people will listen to us. May not agree with us, but they'll listen to us. So the big thing that we get from our rank and file union members is they only know what they see on TV. Which ain't much, okay. So by having something like this, I can start going to various unions and saying to their leadership initially, this is what these this is what this group's about, can you support it? 
Okay, and once I get that commitment from them, then I can start working back down and having them work back down to their members to explain this is what this group is about. Okay. So, I mean, so this is just an organization tool for me. You know. I think it's a decent document. Yes. Because in all, the only way you're ever going to see a general strike yeah. is if we can get our membership to buy into this. Yeah, and you can talk about general strike a lot. It's like, come on, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty, uh, pretty desperate move. Well, people, 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 street street people don't understand what costs. what the costs are for that. I mean, it sounds good in theory, not doing but for our members, there's actual cost to that, including jail time in certain cases. Your members, you're talking about which union? <laughs> if you talk I'm public sector. I work at work Corning. I'm a work at Corning. What, an income incorporator? Talk a public sector worker, worker like me. If I go out on strike, it's jail time. Yeah. Okay. There are there differences? <laughs> yeah, there are differences. And a fine for two days' wages for every yeah. day you're off. Right. Yeah. <sighs> so I'm not saying that general strike may not happen at some point in time, but you need you need the passion out there. I think okay. it has to happen sort of nationwide. Yes. So yeah. any, any Meaningful and not destroyed in his life. That was the idea of the general strike. Yeah. That's what I'm, I'm not trying to work for that. Before you get into the general strikes, like one day everybody refused to go to McDonald's. Or I'm, you know, I mean, just to show that. You do that every day? Well, I, I, I can. I can White dads, we do all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, one of the, one, one of the things that you can have a dialogue about. Is actually just the way you live your life. Okay? Support small businesses. Try to buy as much of your food locally as you can. I do, yeah. Okay. That's a good point. I mean, I mean you can have a dialogue on just the lifestyle changes you can make. But that's actually the kind of thing that I thought we should include at some point. It doesn't have to be right now. Nothing has to be all, all at the same time. But with, what, with the way that we break down these different issues. This is all descriptive, right? right? This is all just describing what the issues are. Right. What you, what you said there is potential action to help make it improve this. Well, and, and it goes to a certain extent to policy. Right. So, okay. and, and, and I was thinking that with, with each one of these, we should work on developing how to improve that at some point. Like, within our, within yeah. our rights. It doesn't have to be necessarily as, as as uh, far as policy, maybe right now, I think we could get to that point. Well, what I'm but I'm like talking. something like that's pretty basic, you know. Yeah. By a little. You know, when I'm talking about policy, I'm not necessarily talking about. Don't spend your money at Walmart. Yeah. yeah I'm not, I'm, when I'm talking about policy, I'm not necessarily talking about uh, petitioning the government to pass certain bills into law. Okay. Uh, I'm, uh, that too, but I'm also including. Well, the, the fancy word for it is prefiguration, which you know the IWW used to call building the new world in the shell of the earth. Uh, basically, creating new economic models, new political models, now to eventually kind of uh, replace and outcompete the the old models that don't work. There's a good article in Dollars and Cents magazine where they talk about, in, in I think in Cincinnati, for example, they're building cooperatives now. Where That's the number one, the, the number one, number one thing, and, and that goes back to what I said about economic democracy. So when, when I'm talking about policy, not necessarily. You know, please, Congressman, pass this particular bill. Uh, uh, but also, you know, what what can we do to create the new models that actually work for the 900 percent? And what what the neat thing about the Occupy movements was, especially like in Occupy Oakland and in a lot of places actually, where they didn't say we want you to pass a policy on homelessness, but. We, we, what we do is we take care of the homeless in our community here, in our occupied community here. And like in World War II, they had the victory gardens, and you know, food's a problem. 